Yo, this is something that's been boiling, boiling inside me for a while, and I guess I just have to, you know, just let it rip. Anybody who plays this game can recognize the screen, or, well, what it's from. You're still guessing? Ubisoft looks a bit weird, you know, winners don't eat meat, Scott Pilgrim, yeah. There you go, Scott Pilgrim, what can I, what can I... S Look at this! Already! What the fuck does average Joe mean for difficulty settings? You know? Rough and tough. Is that medium, normal, hard? Anyway, I might as well... You can already tell I'm not too happy about this game. Look at this bullshit. Look at this, my low attack at level 5, my draw attack at level 6. You guys might be thinking, um bitching about small things, but this is like beat em up 101. What's beat em up 101? Fucking rules of beat em up. Final Fight had it, Streets of Rage has it, and this game doesn't. You know, Ubisoft uh, tries to be smart. And here I've just shown you my basic attacks. Let me show you how shitty the hitbox is. There's this odd little thing where I can just pick up the enemy and start hitting the other enemies with him. But apparently it doesn't damage the enemy when I just pick him and bash his head on someone else's head. So let's get back to the previous matter. Alright, so I got a level up to simple throw attacks. How fucking stupid is that? You know, simple down attacks I gotta level up. I mean, it'd be okay if I'd have to level up to do a Shoryuken, but this is basic fucking attacks. Oh, and look at that. The, your character staggers like a bitch. No joke. Even Final Fight 1 didn't have that much stagger. Look at that. Staggers like a little bitch. It's fucking nasty, man. Compared to other fucking beat em ups I've played. And uh, some people are gonna say, well, it's meant to play four players. No, 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 no. Let's, let's keep it real here. You play single player, and then your multiplayer is, you know, it's it's extra. And if they really wanted multiplayer, then they would have had online multiplayer, bitch. I mean, look at this punk shit. Look at that. Your character is down for, down for at least a three good seconds, man. You can't just get back the fuck up. Like, this is the only way of fun of cheapening out enemies without having good attacks. And that's another shit thing about this game. If you if you're stuck playing single player because you know we don't have an online mode and you can't just tie up people. Look at that, Skid Tiger's like a bitch. Uh, you can't just tie up four people to start this game from you know beginning to end. Like if you if you want to have you gotta level up each character separately. Gotta love the fucking level up system, huh? I mean, it's a mutter fucking beat em up. And look at that, enemies fucking combo you. Well, you can't really do a combo breaker, can you? You didn't think about that, smart asses. Fucking geniuses. I mean, I take fucking beat em up to heart. I mean, the, uh, compared to what SNK did, Dungeon Dragons, fuck, Streets of Rage kicks this game's ass. And look at that, you're already down. Fucking punk game, really. It's like, jeez, alright, you want to make the game multiplayer? Well, fucking put some online multiplayer. Nasty piece of shit. And, really, look at that. This this big guy fucking blocks whenever he wants. And then, boom, 12 damage. You're down. You're down, sir! And some of you may be wondering how the fuck do you get your status up? Oh, I'll show you. There's a little segment that, which I call Eat Whatever You Find. And I'm not talking about, you know, finding chickens in a dumpster. That'd be way too low gen for these guys, you know? They, they gotta bring it to another level. They can't just give us power-ups inside a dumpster. Oh, I finally got the dash attack. Great use, isn't it? Not that much use. It'll hit fat enemies. Oh, look at that. This guy just came out of a garbage can and fucking combo with me. Or tried to. And of course, I could throw him down, but... Throw him down, but I won't get the money, and you need the money in this game. So 
So the only cheap thing I can find is, you know, use the garbage bag and uh, garbage can or and try to make some bounce combos to get more cents. It'll get you extra money, but it's still fucking stupid. I mean, compared to fuck actually being able to hit the enemy while they're down, it'd be something, you know? Oh no, I get this at level 6 or 7? And even this, I was expecting to have something in there. What is that? Nothing? Oh shit, watch out, a bus is gonna hit me. You wanna know what's funny? When the bus hits the enemy, well, it doesn't really hit the enemy. The enemy is fine. You, on the other hand, well, you're gonna take some damage and you're gonna stagger like a bitch. I mean, fuck, as much as I like the whole retro thing going on, get serious. It, retro graphics? Yeah, sure. But don't put retro control, that's just fucking stupid. Another instance where you just fight an enemy and he just goes full gore on you. I mean, you'll find a lot of that in, the, in this game, which, for most, it's preposterous. Because it's not, it's not made for single player, and at this point you're like, what the fuck, man? If you're not giving me online multiplayer, then fucking balance your shit out. You can't just go, well, alright, let's make... Oh, wait, they're French. I gotta make a French accent. Oh, well, uh, we have to make uh, some kind of massive beat em up. Uh, so, they're obviously going to be for players. Let's add a shitload of enemies. Have them beat up and do massive combo. They will have friends to help them out. It is going to be balanced. Single player? What the fuck is that? Here, we have multiplayer. And you know, you might have this person in the background just going, uh, yeah dude, you, you gotta balance out your single player, you can just spam enemies and, you know, even though our graphic or uh, hit detection is shit, you know, you can't just spam enemies like that. And the other guy's like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter, it's budget tightened, just like Deadliest Warrior, it doesn't matter. I mean, fuck man. And I shouldn't be too surprised, they're the same people who fucked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Anybody fucking defending that game should have a late abortion. I... I'm gonna be fucking cold on that one. Fuck you if you like that game. The remake that they did is a bastardized version of the one we had on the stands. And look at them ripping off Fist of the North Star. It's like, we I can hit people like 80,000 times and I can beat on emails. Okay, well that's actually satisfying. Look at that fucking emails. Look at that. I think I wanted to go over a hundred hits. Wait to make it? Awesome. Funny enough, it didn't count that last air hit. Piece of shit. It's like, geez, okay, you guys want to make it like River City Ransom? Fucking update the fucking controls, you piece of shit. And I mean, it's it's basic design. Basic as fucking hell. Look at that, that's a cheap, cheap combo I, I told you guys about. Oh, and this guy just gets back up and blah, buys it on you. And yeah, man, these guys made up the bastardized version of TMNT, TMNT in time, Turtles in time, you know? If you ever want to play that game, pick up an emulator, it's much better. Or fucking pick uh, an arcade emulator and play for player if you want to play it. I think that game had online for players, so that was a step up. But still, they, they fucked it up so badly. I don't even want to buy that game. I touched the demo and I'm like, fuck have you guys done? And I even played it at a friend's house going, wow, this this is real garbage. Don't ever touch my franchises again. Oh yeah, and this is another scene that will try to make you look awesome, but it fails. And now you get your hyper mode where you can just, you know, attack like a crazy bastard. I don't know, man. This, this game seems like it was made for Grindfest. Because you have to level up a lot. Oh, and um, each character has a different statistics. And I mean in a literal way. Some characters have shit for defense from the start. Well, okay, how can I say that? They all have shit for defense. You have to upgrade them. But 
This I find a little bit cool. Reminds me a bit of uh, Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. It's a subspace of where you can get money. Lots of money by hitting piggy banks. Alright, you get a point here. Piggy banks to get money. Ha ha ha. Ho 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 ho. Put in the piggy bank for the players to get money. And uh, this area can be a tad bit random depending on the player. Like this never happened before to me. Having this last one pop up, so it's it's different between players. It's it does its purpose. But um, yeah, man, it's like jeez, what the fuck, Ubisoft? Used to have some epic beat 'em up, but I guess it's because they were from the GBA team. You know, they actually gave a fuck instead of going, well, we're a large team, we do have the graphics, and let's use and abuse on retro. Oh wow, look at that. That was what the fuck, man. I'm still like some, some games will bring out a lot of bullshit. And it's the type of game that if you're it's a type of game you should only play multiplayer because it's so badly scripted in single player that you can only take it at small dose. Heck no joke. Now that I might have friends over, I gotta level up other characters to make it a tad bit more fair for them to play. And that's kind of stupid. I mean, I can pick up Final Fight. Mike Hagar doesn't need level 5 to do his stupid pile driver. No, to do his epic pile driver. I mean, I don't have to do some stupid leveling now. Oh, and look at that. They even add status effects to characters. That's an interesting little feature. Like, this guy was in the dumb fuck status where he was just doing whatever. And jeez, imagine that. My uh, the Cody tree hits. Well, to get that last hit, you're gonna have to level up until level four. Stupid ass wannabe game extending shit. And the thing is, they do it in the wrong way. I mean, there are some games that did it well. For example, Castle Crashers. I play that game. I play that game after playing this. And I'm like, man, Castle Crashers is much better because I don't need to get to level four to do a goddamn drawing attack. It's just, um... Well, okay, I'm not gonna use the usual FPS slander, but, uh, that's, that's kind of vaginal. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm doing a reverse one. It's vaginal. Not saying that. You know what, fuck it. It just sucks. And this is where you buy shit. Oh, yes, you buy shit to update your stats. So... I mean, I mean, come on, shit. You actually get some good stats. Which means you're gonna have to do level 1, you know, this place, multiple times. Multiple times. In multiplayer, well, it doesn't really fucking matter in a sense. Because you can all cover each other's backs. So, when you get to 4 player, you're basically gonna rape the bosses or whoever, whoever just stands in your way. And, uh, Let's say if you're playing with good people, you're gonna set yourself up in teams of two to cover each other. So if one gets in that one those pussy ass combos, you can get someone else to go fuck you and punch the shit out of you. And it took a lot of time to take this guy down, and I guess I'm gonna have to stop this here. But no, there's a second part. I'm not done with this shit yet.